This video is brought to you by Moto Nation. Nah, I'm just playing. We're doing a motorcycle review. So this is a review of the Busa, the 2024 25th anniversary special edition Habusa. Hayabusa. The Hayabusa. The Hayabusa. Hayabusa. Uh, Hayambushka. What, what does that even mean? I was hesitant to get a sports bike because I thought on a sports bike you had to ride it like this. So I thought the whole time I was going to be hunched over riding my bike like this. And I, I didn't want to ride like that. But see, like, it's not like that. I got long arms, so maybe that's that's this. But you, I'm not hunched over at all. You know, my feet are, my feet are hanging back a little bit, you know. They, but you know, I would like if my feet were more, more downward instead of, you know, leaning backwards. But it is what it is. One, I like the color, for sure. I like the the power. I like the look of the bike. Um, I just like the overall design. What I don't like, I don't like that. Damn, that's a bad accident. I don't like my, I don't like my my speedometer like come on bro i need a digital speedometer i do like that i have an actual gas gauge for my fuel if you look right here that's um mode a and then they got a mode b and a mode c you know what i'm saying you can just change it neutral all right so now that we sitting still i'll show you how to change change mode so this a mode hold up a then you can put it i don't know what you three is i don't know what you two is i don't know what you one is i know c is like the least powerful mode of the bike and c is what i i put it on when it's raining you know and b is you know a step down from a bro if you don't want to go fast don't do this shit. so if i want to go slow i'm gonna do this if i want to go fast i'm gonna hit it but i love this bike man i love it i love this bike on the 2024 standard editions this is just a sticker See, see on the other bike, it, it's just like this. It's just like a sticker that say Suzuki. It's like this, it's a decal. But you know, up here, this on this bike, they actually made it. It's just higher quality. Um, another thing that separates this bike from the traditional bike is the paint job. So the, the that flamboyant sunburst orange, you know, so with the orange, with the red, all of that is, that's 25th um, anniversary uh exclusiveness right there bro i think the paint job the 25th anniversary uh decal the embroidered the embroidered i know words i have the best words i have the i don't know what this called but but it's not a decal so the upgraded version of the decal you got um and and, and the gold and the the, the gold accents but that's it. Other than that, it's still the same as the other one. I'm just a little extra, bro. I want to be different. So nobody else in my city got this bike, unless unless Moto Nation lied to me. I haven't washed this bike since I bought it. I'm not gonna lie to you. So I done had this bike for like four months, and I've never washed it. So that's what we gonna do today. That's why we gonna do this. All right, send the gun here then. 
just a little real quick real quick touch up before i go out tonight yes sir man and the bike it just rides so smooth so i'll give you a, i'm gonna give a play-by-play -play on each gear the biggest difference to me on this bike is how how fast i can get up in gears hey look how i'm in traffic right now at first no way bruh i'm in traffic doing this now I switch up to second all right so at third gear i can already ride amongst traffic i'm in fourth gear right now doing 50 i'm in traffic i'm in traffic right now in fourth gear doing 55. when i'm in fifth and sixth gear that's when i'm feeling the power of the booster so first through fourth i'm pretty sure it's just like any other bike i only i've only ridden three bikes which is crazy i knew a little bit about the power but this is crazy like fifth and sixth gear on this bike is dangerous all motorcycles are dangerous but this mother is dangerous like for real i actually bought this bike in may i rode it home and it 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 kind of like it i was terrified what a bitch because when i first bought it I was in third, I was scared to go above third gear. It took me May to August, you know, three months before I felt comfortable enough to, you know, to record and ride. I gotta be so careful on this bike. I can look up, bruh, and I could be going 80 like nothing, like nothing. If you ask me, can a person who just starting out ride a booster or a leader bike or anything you know anything above a thousand cc hell yeah you can i'm doing it right i mean i'm doing it i bought this by six months i upgraded from a 450 to a 1350 in six months it's not a matter of can you do it it's a matter of are you responsible enough to do it if you want to start off on one of these hell no boy you crazy you buy a booster for your first bike you gonna tear that mother up or you gonna tear yourself up Something gonna end up broken though. Cause you gotta respect this bike. You know what I'm saying? Like you got to. Look at that. <sighs> uh, so whatever, bro. They gonna show you like I'm. I'm still learning. You know what I'm saying? Tune in. I'm. I took the bike out. We reviewed it. I washed it up. Cause I'm going downtown tonight. We're going to uh Memphis Bike Night tonight, and that's gonna be a separate video that I'm gonna do for y'all. So uh, I hope y'all enjoyed. I hope everybody. Uh, I hope everybody liked the bike. If you think I made a dumb decision, let me know in the comments. If you feel like I bossed up and you proud of me, let me know in the comments. If you want advice, ask me in the comments. If you got advice to give, give it in the comments. But just communicate with me because the whole point of me doing this is so I can build a community of people that like motorcycles. Because as you can see, I'm riding alone. So but that's it though y'all man just holler at me that is crazy but yeah